Hey everybody, welcome to Infinite Realms. Today, I've got a little visual representation of kind of where my priorities are uh, in far as action figures. I mean, let me just talk about it for a moment and I'll get down to the nitty gritty. Here's, of course, top priority, Action Force. Why? Well, it's new, it's different, and the story's pretty interesting. I mean, there's a story behind it, there's an IP behind it, it is pretty fun. I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've heard a lot, you know, there are a lot of people complaining about Action Force. Uh, <laughs> some of the complaints are warranted, some are not. Some of the warranted complaints are, yeah, the joints, there are issues. Okay, yeah, you gotta heat them up and everything. And the special deployment series was great. Uh, the Wave 3 uh, seemed to be a step back. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say about that. I, you know, I won't say I'm all in on this line, but I finally caught up with this line. And, you know, now I'm feeling good that I can concentrate on new stuff. Well, caught up to where I wanted to be on this line. And uh, I'm feeling good that I can concentrate on new stuff with it. Because that way, uh, you know, then I'm feeling good again. And so that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons. But again, just something new, something original, something fun. So next up is wrestling. Now, two and three, I'm going to say they're interchangeable at any time. Wrestling, you know, still getting the... Oh, boy. Hogan didn't look good there. Uh, let me put him back a little. I forget how tall he is. Okay. So wrestling, um, you know, the big thing with wrestling is uh, I'm still getting my all-time favorites. Uh, the you know you got the ultimate AJ style and the ultimate uh, Razor Ramon coming out. Going to get both of those. Uh, I will freely admit, must many of the modern wrestlers do not appeal to me as much as some of the classics. So you know, it's uh, not, you, you know I will be getting more of the classics than I will anything else. But in that, there's still a lot of uh, re my favorite wrestlers who have not had an update and uh you know i'm pretty good on hogan and warrior and etc but you know still some more that i need i know there's a harley race coming out i need to i'll need to get and andre the giant that's going to be a good one i may consider seth rollins he's he's winning me over <laughs> i'll say it that way uh but yeah so and then you have of course masters of the universe uh, Masterverse. Uh, again, these are just like really great updated versions of the originals. And for the most part, I've been uh, concentrating on either the new Eternia line, or if I do go to Revelations, they look enough like the originals that I will let it slide. Tila is a prime example, as is uh, Trap Jaw and Triclops. Those were uh, those were really closely original. I'm sure there'll be a Masterverse version that will probably look a little bit better, and I'll regret having bought those. But maybe not. I don't think so. Um, that's uh, you know that's where I'm at with those. Um, occasionally the Princess of Power ones because Hordak is in there, and any members of the Horde that goes into the Masterverse line, yeah. Is it ending? Well, I don't think so. So that's what I'm saying right now. <laughs> And next, Marvel Legends. Now, Marvel Legends, um, you know, when I started this channel, my focus was primarily Marvel Legends. That being, that was the largest collection I had. And again, I acquired that collection, and oh boy, that's a... That's uh, covered a lot of ground. I'm still sorting through that large collection. I have filmed reviews on that collection. I didn't realize how many videos I had done. Uh, so it's kind of weird now I have this backdrop. And I'm still haven't put out videos of the reviews I've done on parts of that collection. It's it's mind-boggling how far ahead I am. And, and, you know, I squeeze new stuff in periodically uh, to, uh, you know, <laughs> appease that. 
So yeah, there there's a there's a lot going on with that. Uh, but you know, Marvel Legends with a, a few select characters, and they're doing some oddball ones like Tarantula. They just did did. He just went on pre-order today. In fact, uh, you know the orb. I mean, they, you know some of these oddballs are coming out. Uh, so you know I'm kind of on board with that. So I'll still buy those. Um, but you know, again, Marvel Legends is sliding down because I'm almost where I want to be with that collection. I mean, you're never 100% done because you know they always find a way to bring out a character you want. But like you know, I'm I'm moving back away from that collection because like you know, look at this spiral. I mean, there you go. I mean, I got that. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so yeah, and this is gonna sound like I'm downing things, and I, and I am to a degree. I, I won't I won't lie. Right here, bottom of the barrel is um, GI Joe Classified. Now, here here's the deal on GI Joe Classified. First, there's the QC problems. Uh, Falcon's head, and I finally got a really close look at Cover Girl's head. Oh God, those were awful. I canceled my pre-order on Cover Girl as soon as I got a good look at her. Uh, yeah, that that it was just no, no. Uh, I'm still in on Outback. I'm gonna still be in on uh, Bazooka. I don't know about the rest. I mean, from what I'm seeing, they look good. But I'm going to kind of wait and see what people's reactions are and then, you know, get some cl good close-up pictures and then decide what I'm doing. Uh, with any point of any of these, if, any of these right here, if, um, you know, it comes right down to it, classified is going to get cut first. With some exceptions. Outback, Bazooka. And I do want the Bazooka Quick Kick Alpine Trio for sure. I mean, those, those are, there's some priorities in there, but for the most part, you know, I can, I have the originals, I don't need these, and then people are like, well, they're three and three quarter, I'm like, yeah, and they have as much, you know, some of those from the Pursuit of Cobra line have just as much detail as these, so, you know, again, <laughs> you, you, uh, are not winning me over very easily with that. Now, um, also, and I left one out. Because, because this line is more of a nostalgia grab, um, this company is more of a nostalgia grab. This is a, it's a case-by-case -case basis with this. But NECA, I mean, you know, every time a figure comes out, it, it's like, okay, i got to weigh it. Because, like, I love this War Duke. I don't care about Grimsword. Or whatever his name is. I, I just care so little, I don't even want to, I don't even care about his name. And it's not that it's a bad figure. It's just that I don't need that in my collection. I don't desire it in my collection. You know, and there's several others in NECA line. But I'm kind of going, I don't really need that. That said, I just bought my wife, Elf and, uh, um, <laughs> what, what's it? Elf and, uh, oh, Back to the Future, Marty McFly. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, again, a give and take kind of thing. It depends on what it is. I'm very cherry picky about NECA, but I don't think in a bad way. Uh, I mean, I think you should be because, you know, some of this is nostalgia grabs and some of this, you know, I mean, there's good nostalgia grabs and bad nostalgia grabs. Uh, ALF was a good one. War Duke's a good one. <laughs> you know, I can't really think of a bad one. I can think of ones that I don't like, but I can't think of a bad one necessarily in uh, NECA, so... Uh, maybe that was a bad phrasing, but still, I mean, I do like NECA. That's a given. I do like NECA. Um, they've gotten better, you know, over the past few years. Uh, so, again, you know, improvement, it's rewarded. Now, peripheral to all this is some smaller lines. And, you know, smaller lines, like, oh, that's neat, that's neat. But it's not something I'm going to collect fully. Or fully invest in so I don't really count it in my collecting ideas now you know it's like um, you know certain turtles I will I will get but I'm very selective on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 
and I really don't go past Shredder and uh, Splinter uh, in the side characters. I, not even April O'Neil. I just get the basic turtles, tr Shredder, uh, maybe a foot soldier. But even then, it's iffy. I'm very, you know, but the good thing about turtles is there are so many of them out there you can pick and choose. So yeah, that's kind of where my collecting habits are now. So, I'm going to pause this just a second, because this is what made me think about this. I'm going to rearrange this to where my priorities were six months ago. And I want you to see a difference. So, for you it'll be a second, for me it'll be about 30 seconds, but whatever. Alright, so here we go. I've shifted this around now. I did this, I wanted a visual representation of this, and this may sound be a stupid exercise to you but you're watching the video so yeah we'll just go with that I had just gotten introduced to Action Force I you know I had Trigger I had a couple other figures I, I think I might have had one or two others and I was kind of not sure about the line at this point I was uh, was really you know kind of maybe iffy if I on if I would get it or not so, you know, th that was a lack of knowledge. Uh, as I got to know the line, as I got to know the story behind the line, and the story of the line that is encompassing through all this, yeah, I've gotten much more interested. One of the dumbest uh, comments I've heard about Action Force is that it doesn't know what it wants to be, and I'm like, have you actually read any of the stories around it? It knows exactly what it wants to be. And what it wants to be <laughs> is a military line in the future, not far future, in the future, slightly dystopian, and boom, the enemy has a lot of high-tech shit. Okay? <laughs> now, of course, Marvel Legends was a bigger priority because I didn't have that big collection I bought. Um, again, that collection, uh, <laughs> that filled in so many gaps of what I was looking for. It had some stuff I didn't even... I don't think I would have got unless it had been in that collection. Um, and I keep stumbling over some newer items all the time. I'm like, oh, didn't realize that was in here. Huh, cool. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, well, i got to review that, don't I? So, yeah. Uh, anyway. And then, of course, classified, I just kind of gotten too classified and okay if you guys hear a funny noise my children are being real obnoxious right now apologies uh the mic's probably picking that up uh anyway i had finally gotten to classifieds and you know i was kind of interested i thought they had done a good about pace about face it was storm shadow spirit some of my favorites some of my favorite army builders and you know I was really okay that's the kind of classified I would look for this was before all the QC issues and you know that'll knock me out of a line quicker than anything uh you now wrestling and masterverse you know I had just kind of gotten into those into masterverse uh but still it was a uh, it caught me immediately uh he man that 40th he man boom you had me yeah, had me there. And wrestling, of course, I was always kind of, kind of was right in the middle there. But, you know, um, wrestling shifted up a little bit. And so did Masterverse. And I would still argue, you know, these two would be interchangeable at this level, too. So, you know, why has this shift gone over here? There's a couple of reasons. I mean, yes, the biggest one is the Marvel Legends collection I bought filled in the gaps. The other one is... The QC issues I am seeing, I am experiencing, is turning me off to every product Hasbro makes. Now, I want, uh, and I want to reiterate this in a big way. I love Marvel, I love G.I. Joe, but if you put out crap where the arms fall off right out of the package, where it looks like the the head sculpts have had plastic surgery in real life and things that just make a toy line go to hell in a handbasket very quickly 
that's going to turn me off. I have, if I pull out a figure and attempt to change the hand and it breaks immediately, that's going to turn me off. And I know people are going to say that about Valiverse. Okay, fair enough. But you know what? Trigger was the first figure I had. I did not have that problem. I had a ton of problems changing his hands. He never broke. I didn't know about the heating thing at the time. I did, looked over that. I, I think he had the little pamphlet in there. It said heat him up. Uh, I know my version one Sarge did. <laughs> and I had took the, I got them almost the same time, and they completely overlooked it. Now, the other thing about G.I. Joe, I'm, I'm just going to say it. It's nostalgia. And we're getting to the point where we're being nostalgic for 2000. 14 and 15, which I think is hilarious. You know, we now have Shadow Tracker and the Pursuit of Cobra, Cobra version of Low Light. And I'm like, okay, those were cool figures, but do we need six inch versions of those now? I mean, are we being nostalgic for breakfast at this point? I mean, does that mean I'm not going to buy them? No, but I mean, I'm just kind of questioning some choices here. It's like, it was Alpine. That'll rock, you know. Um, <laughs> people are probably going to rake me over the coals for this one. But yeah, I mean, I really think Classifieds had a real high point in 2022. And they um, they walked into 2023 and just fell off it. I'm really thinking that because my interests in... I am... Okay, and another thing about Classifieds I'm getting annoyed at, repaints. I recognize the need for repaints. I mean, I can point it out on Valiverse all day. I can point it out on Marvel Legends all day. I can point it out on Wrestling and He-Man all day. But you know what? They at least try to make the parts look a little different. There's some variety there. They do a different color, a different skin tone, different this, different that. There's all kinds of tricks they do. With Classified, the bat so far is the worst offender. We had the original bat, python bat, crimson bat, possibly now arctic bat. And I'm just sitting here going, what the hell? That's four repaints of the same figure in under a year. I get repaints, but come on, spread them out a little. Make them a little more exciting. You know, I mean, the arctic bat could be exciting, except... It's just white, which is kind of dull. And, you know, th this is turning me off to classifieds. It's just, okay, oh, and look, we got uh, Mad Marauder's uh, barbecue. Well, why? The color deco was, ho was horrible back then. I have the original. Uh, the har color <laughs> deco is horrible now. I'm sure Spirit's going to be next. And low light, now we see low light. Low light will be after that. And I'm going to be, so what? <laughs> you know? I mean, this is my feelings, okay? This is how I feel as a collector. So, you know, I'm doing this visual representation. But it makes me shift to see something new versus something old. That's how the chess pieces move. And I'm making a point here is that, yeah, the expression was said that nostalgia is not a plane engine, it's a glider. And it only works for so long. And that's true. The other side of it is, is while Marvel is one of my favorite properties of all time, in any capacity, there's a finite number of characters I want from Marvel. No matter what. I don't need to get another Spider-Man, although I just bought Spider-Man 2099. I don't need another... Um, I'm trying to think of a character right off the top of my head. Uh, I'm looking around my shelves. looking. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Black Panther. I think that last Black Panther was perfect. Okay, he's up here 
on my show. <laughs> I know, I'm being real weird about it. Um, leader. I don't need another leader. I don't need another frogman. I don't need another tigra. I don't need another scarlet witch. I, I mean, I don't need another scorpion. You know, I'm just, I'm looking at characters right now and just like reading, okay, I don't need another um, Kitty Pride. I would argue I don't need another Rogue. So, I mean, you know, there's a finite number of characters and we've hit it. I mean, I really think it's, it's close. I mean, it's, it will probably never be done. I mean, you'll always have a character like Orb or a character like Crosshair. You know, those guys, yeah, you, you, that'll keep me in the know and watching for what's next but you know that does make legends kind of deprioritize and here's the thing I, I don't think I honestly don't think the guys at Marvel Legends really understand that about legends is that you can only ride that wave for so long you know, it's not the Spider-Man line, it's not the Iron Man line, it's not the Captain America line. Now, they'll hook me back in with an Iron Man and a Captain America occasionally. I mean, I'm an Iron Man nut. Uh, you know, Iron Man's what... I've got more figures Iron Man than anything else. I love Cap. Love Thor. And every now and again, they'll hook me. But, it's going to be hard because you're running out of options. I mean, modern Thor... <laughs> ironic we call him modern thor and he's like 2014 yeah i mean you know that that would hook me um bucky cap that hooks me because i mean i sold off my bucky cap so long ago and i need one and you know those things will hook me but you're gonna have a harder and harder time hooking me on some of these guys and you know stick them in a five pack i'm gonna be like you know what I don't want that five pack. I want that one character. And I'll get that character. Some one way or another. And once I get it, I'll, you know, I don't, I'm not going to worry about that five pack. I'm not even going to think about that five pack existing. So, yeah, you see kind of how my, my... And here's the other part of it. I think I see the collecting world shifting. Not specifically in my direction. Don't get me wrong. I'm my own person. This is my direction that I'm shifting it. But I'm seeing all of the collecting world shift. It's kind of fun and interesting. Action Force is getting a lot of attention right now. Um, and just continues to snowball, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, Masterverse, Masters of the Universe has gotten a lot of attention, probably for the wrong reasons, because somebody has sour grapes. Wrestling always has attention. That, you know, I'm always surprised how there are channels devoted exclusively to wrestling action figures. And, I mean, they have thousands upon thousands of subscribers. Um, so, yeah. It's, a, it's an odd thing, but it's a cool thing at the same time. I do like it. And I didn't even put Star Wars Black Series in here because I don't really collect Star Wars Black Series. Um, I mean, if you wanted to put Black Series in... Let me find a... Okay. So I just got Emperor, I just got him out of the box. Um, you know, if we want to put a Black Series in here, we'll put him way over there. You can't even see him in the frame. So, you know, that's kind of how I feel about Black Series. I'm like, you know, I, uh, on Black Series, I have a Stormtrooper. Um, maybe, maybe Forest Han. Not decided yet. Belize Sean, Mara Jade. That's what I've got my eyes set on uh, in R2. I need R2 still. But, you know, I mean, that's like four figures, you know, and one's a maybe. Don't really count that as collecting as much. So, yeah, that's how I view it. This is my thought process. This is my priority list right now and I may do this in six months and this might completely change this might be a completely change you know I can't add Savage Crucible in there because I don't have anything I can't add 
of Animal Warriors because I don't have anything yet. That doesn't mean I won't, and that doesn't mean that might change. But this is what it is right now. And you know, I'm thinking six months from now, I'm going to revisit this and see where my collecting, um, my collecting focus is. I think that will be fun. So, eh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a fun little thing. Just decided, hey, let's do this. You know, sometimes my videos are like that. Let's just do this. All right. And that stopped very abruptly. Uh, sorry, I did not know I had the timer on on my camera. But anyway, I was about to say, thank you for turning into Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.